What is up? If Sam was not here, and I bet you didn't think that you was going to get all these freaking videos today. I bet you didn't. I know you didn't. I know you didn't. So anyway, as you see by the title, these are the five albums that I loved in 2017. I think I actually liked a lot of stuff that came out. Really like stuff that's not really um, overrated or uh, with what I say mainstream. But these are a couple of ones that I feel like that was kind of mainstream that people understand. So, number five on my list is going to be Fifth Harmony, Fifth Harmony. Fifth Harmony, I feel like it was something, an album for them to prove something that there can be good without Camila. And what the heck? Why did I say her name like that? So, the people are here cutting our grass and they're being freaking noisy. So, we're going to have to do this the best we can. Anyway, I was talking about Fifth Harmony's album, and I feel like they had a lot of proof, and they had a, I feel like this album did have more mature sound. It was definitely a upgrade from 727, but at the same time, they could have done a lot better. That's why it's so down on my list, and I love the girls, I really do, I really, really do, but this is going to be number five on my list, because it could have done better, it really could. But you had bops like, don't say you love me, that I covered, you better go watch it, go do it. You go do it. Where the heck is the camera? Yeah, you. You go do it. You go do it now. And they had um, Lonely Night. Lonely Night was one of the, I think, my second favorite from the album. And what the heck? Oh, yeah, Saw Stuff, which I also covered. I think I might do Lonely Night, but at least I know, I don't know, I don't know. My voice ain't like that. I mean, it, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know if I want to risk that or not. But anyway, moving on to number four. It's Vic Mensa autobiography. When I tell you this album is really deep, um, Vic Mensa, if you don't know him, he is signed to Rock Nation with Jay-Z. And he, he had a song with um, Chance the Rapper. He has a few songs with Chance the Rapper. Cat, why is I, every freaking song just left my head right now? But anyway, and... He's a bit, he's not as popular, I wish he was more popular, but he had a really good album this year. He talked about his drug abuse problem and things like that, and about his um, girlfriend, his life, and things. And it was, it was a really good album. I loved it, and really, he's so freaking underrated, and that upsets the crap out of me. But we're gonna go to number four, and that will be the Lemmy, I said the Lemmy, Demi Lovato's. Tell me you love me. Tell me you love me. I played over and over and over. I even had my mom like the freaking songs and everything. I feel like I really liked the direction she went with this album because it was more R&B. It was more mature. It kind of made Confident look like a little baby. Um, I loved Cry Baby. Even the, the Target um, extra songs with the song Smoke and Mirrors and Ready For It. Ready For It is a bop and I was really upset. That it was just an extra um, bonus little track. It reminds me of Ariana Grande's album that she had those songs right there. I'm like, why you took the best songs off? And actually, it kind of took me a while for me to actually like Tell Me You Love Me. It actually did. Like, when I first heard it, I was like, eh, I don't like it. The lyrics are kind of too cheesy. But now it's like, it's a really good song. It's not, it's not better than my song Lonely, though. But it's a good song. And that is why that is number, I think that, what the heck, what number am I on? I think I'm on number three. I'm on number three, yeah. Okay, number two is One Way Conversations by Holland. And all my folks that don't listen to Christian music, you might want to click out for now. Because they read these last, the other one, and this one are Christian music and... Holland is one of my, I think she's really in one of my top 10 favorite Christian um, singers. And her album, One Way Conversations, was really good. I listened to the whole thing almost every day when it first came out. At first, I was a little skeptical about the album because I feel like, you know, it wasn't Christian enough. And I ended up having to change my way because like, you have to actually listen to the music and see the messages. And you have to realize that not every song, every Christian song has to involve Jesus because you can feel Jesus and songs and the Holy Spirit. You don't, you don't have to call his name to have the Holy Spirit in the song. And that's what I had to realize. And after I got over that part, I really freaking enjoyed the album. It's such a good album. Especially um Girl, 
which I it's my favorite off the album. You know, it's like really the least popular one, least least popular one. It's very R and B, and I like how she explained how you know she's how she's just accepting fame and how she is going through it and how she has God helping her in a way. And that's where we get to number one, and that is Torn Wheels, Hills and Valleys. And because Hills and Valleys was such a good song, and I, oh my gosh, it popped everywhere. Caleb will not stop playing it, which I'm not complaining about. But one, crap, I would say one way conversation, it's also unorganized. Hills and Valleys was a good album. I liked the hit song with Holland on the album, but my favorite one is God's Not Done With You. That whole, and his cover of September, really, Torn Rails is very freaking talented. And even though I loved Royal Taylor, I really, his album by himself was really freaking good. And that is all I have for you today. Why am I singing everything? Uh, but I will see you guys later because I should be having more videos lined up. Yes, I think I'm, I'm editing a video, a little vocal video, and I don't know, I did it first time, and I was supposed to upload it after I did the sauce up cover, but it messed up in editing, and I did all that hard work for nothing, and it made me lose, um, well, basically, I said forget it, and I'm trying to work on it now again, and if it just don't work out, you guys can just not get in that video, and I'm going to leave that to the people that actually does that crap. It's not crap. What the heck? <laughs> Bye-bye, guys.